Good morning. We are stepping out of the house a little bit later today. We're not going to be stuck in here all vlog. Uh, yesterday, we went to Legoland for Ella's um, birthday party. We didn't do like a party party this year. Last year, we did Great Wolf Lodge, which was so much fun. This year, we decided to go check out Legoland. Okay, I found... <laughs> Where did that come from? Maybe they were taken out already. I had Legos in my pants. The little guys. Look, I have a cop hat. There's a clue to what happened. Okay. <laughs> so I know that they were in here. Um, I'll show you guys them later when I find them, but we got like little Lego pieces. Also, we got um, some of these grand opening, like specialty blocks. So there were three kids with us, Hunter, Ella, and Ella's little friend. It was a ton of fun. Kids had a blast. We came home, did the cake and everything, uh, and then we just passed out. So today, I have to take the kids out a little bit. I'm going to get ready, have some breakfast. When I say breakfast, okay, I actually mean, I'll show you in a second. We're going to have some food. <laughs> we ordered a bunch of stuff from Sheen. I want to show you guys all of that because I want to include it in like some of my favorite Sheen products too. I'm going to do one, one bigger video. I'm removing my extensions real quick. But I, cause I want to re-straighten my hair today, but I want to show you guys that my hair has been growing and I think I'm only like three inches away from the length of the extensions I'm wearing right now. Do you know how exciting that? Probably not. I've been trying to grow my hair for 15 years, granted with a little bit of cutting in between when my daughter was born and whatnot, not... 15 straight years, but over the course of 15 years, because every time I would try to grow it and it wouldn't get past a certain length, I got so frustrated that I was like, all right, fine. Like, then I'm just going to learn to love my hair short. And I just couldn't. <laughs> and so then I got frustrated and would try to grow it again. And the cycle continued and repeated ever since I've actually been taking an oral, um, a supplement, I have been noticing a big difference and I'm about to show you hold on I definitely want to give it a little bit of a trim to make it a little bit healthier but my hair has never ever ever been able to grow past basically basically this point so anything below this is so exciting because that never used to happen even I just cut bangs what a month ago like no joke it wasn't that long ago at all. I had just cut some bangs that were, look, this is the very front of my hair. Like this is where my bangs were. So you can see in here, the shortest piece, I'll even grab the shortest piece just to be fair. This is the shortest piece of hair that is on my head right now. My hair is very uneven. I need a, actual haircut but the shortest piece of hair was cut here or maybe here give it a little bit of because because I, I was afraid to go too short with the bang so even if we do it here like nose length which i know it was shorter than in a month my hair has never ever, ever done that. And then this side, like this fringe, it's like even longer. It's by like an inch. <laughs> Why is my hair so uneven? Um, that's a different story, but the point is, is that this is obviously working and I am so excited. And I was looking at my hair yesterday. How much growth do I actually need till I can stop wearing extensions, right? So let's just put I'm not going to clip it in, but let's just say we put it here. Okay, so this is a length that I'm pretty happy with. But look at how close we are. I'm going to grab the hair right here. My real hair is ending. You can see where my real hair is ending and where the extensions is ending. That's why I'm saying I only have like, I only have like an inch or two left to go before I'm like actually happy with the length. It's just kind of funny how much just a couple inches can make you feel, but this is all 
this is all real. I have not had this long of hair since before the fifth grade. Ella's age, fourth grade, was the last time my hair was long. I'm super excited. <laughs> right now so I might just grab a couple pieces I'm gonna save the rest chickens in so we're gonna do our rice now this one I think you have to cook all together but that is fine this comes in a self venting bag so it's this side down put it like this in the microwave for high for five minutes I have my rice. I let it sit in the microwave for a minute or so. So I want to burn myself. Oh. Oh. That's okay. Mommy. Yeah, baby. Rhino. Oh, they obviously Rhino. they found the little characters I was looking for. I'm glad they found them. Let me finish up this chicken. Okay, hold on. Thank goodness I don't have to grow my own food to survive. I had a very small harvest this year. You guys saw a lot of the snap peas because those came in quick. Okay. Then I stopped producing. This plant started dying, so I didn't have any more to show. I got a couple jalapenos which um, got in four jalapenos total, but I only have two, but there are three more buds on the plant. So I'm probably gonna get a couple more jalapenos. Uh, I did dig up my potatoes, but I didn't record because honestly, look how big my potatoes are. The only really big one I got was raw and I was bummed out, but I got like half a little thing of potatoes here. I got one tomato. We found a wheel. Oh, we'll put it back together, baby. I had one tomato that someone has now eaten. No. <laughs> and my corn, my corn stalks have come out really well. Okay, next year I need to fertilize so much better. I'm learning my lesson. Next year will be even better. We got something to grow this year and to produce this year. I think my snap peas. Sweet peas were the most successful um, by far, but I got a little of everything I tried to grow, which is just amazing. I have some lettuce still over there. I have to harvest, um, which I'm actually probably gonna get today because they're, they're hey, big. Um, look. You know those little like Japanese corn you get? Like maybe a little bigger than those. I'm excited to show you guys they're not ready. Either way, I'm gonna use the stalks for decorating throughout the fall. That was the whole point that if I didn't even get corn, I just wanted the stalks. And the watermelon is still, it's really long. Like it, it just keeps vining and blooming flowers, but I'm not seeing actual watermelon yet. So I don't know if I'm gonna get any watermelon. They're at that age where they're fighting over the television. They're fighting over everything, but specifically the television. Threw some sauce into the chicken. I don't know why I just threw my fork in the sink, considering I need it. Breakfast is served. <laughs> hello, hello. So I was not going to. Today is Ella's birthday, her birthday birthday. We went, oh, there's, so... there's so much stuff. We went and we celebrated at Legoland last weekend um, with one of her friends in Boston. 
and it was a lot of fun. I feel like you guys are really low. Everybody just took a shower and had dinner and whatnot. But I asked Ella, I said, before you put anything away, because she wants to wear some of this to school tomorrow, I said, before you put any of this away, let me show, I want to show you guys a couple of pieces. So this is, has nothing to do with her birthday. This is some back to school shopping. However, I also ordered her some stuff as well as Hunter. I have not done Hunter's back to school shopping yet because he's not like going back to school. When the weather starts cooling down a little bit, I need to get him a whole wardrobe and I'm ordering Ella a few extra pieces. So this isn't everything, but I just want to show you guys some stuff. We have our first set, which is really cute. It's like a long slit on the side pencil skirt, but it has kind of a sweater material. So really nice for the fall when it's not too, too cold out. And that comes with a matching top. And it's actually really, really, really soft. I will do my best to try to find these pieces for you guys and put it in the description below. I ordered it from my boyfriend's account. Um, like we'll go back and forth between accounts. Um, so we, so I, I don't have access like to just log in. So I'm going to ask him if he can send me over any of the pieces so that I can put them in the description for you guys. And it's super cute and she should be able to wear it before it gets too, too cold. But it's just this scrunched up ruched flower dress. It reminds me of something that I would wear. Then we have going back again to kind of the fall and winter. She has this large plaid skirt, which is funny because I have one really, really, really similar to this. Uh, and then this came with a matching, just a black uh, turtleneck, turtleneck top. So you could switch it out and do like a, a white top on the set too, but I do really like the black with it. We tried to get a bunch of sets so that way she could kind of mix and match. Uh, she does have this almost, almost like a jumper kind of set, just like a hot pink. This is what the top looks like up close with a zipper down the front and then these pants that said York or New York. <laughs> but it says York New on here. <laughs> York New. Um, but I think if you're looking at it from the other way, it would say New York. I'm not sure. It says New York. But, oh, she has this little, it's again kind of like a sweater dress. It does come with a hood, but it has just these angel wings on the front comes down quite long I'm, I'm assuming past her knees and then it just has the long uh silver zipper in the front plain in the back she has what is this oh uh this is a three-piece set so this is like the hoodie it's just a black plain hoodie with a butterfly then it comes with a matching top which i told her obviously you can't wear crop tops to school but the way that I will let you wear this to school is if you have, um, are these the matching pants? I think the matching pants have a butterfly on them. Hold on one second. Are they these? Yes. So the matching uh, joggers. So I told her if you're going to wear this to school, that's fine. But you would have to keep this zipped up like at least halfway. So none of your midriff is showing. Um, but this is an adorable, cute set. And I'm like, I want to get everything in my size. And this set for uh, just comfortable wear. She has these joggers. They're like half white and half pink on the sides. And we have a matching top. Kind of this color block pattern is uh, pretty popular. I see everywhere. Then she has, um, oh, she just has this kind of, I don't want to say oversized because it's not really oversized, but it will be a little long on her. Um, just this oversized kind of faux knit sweater. And that came with another pair of black leggings, which again, it's perfect. You can't have enough black leggings. So I'm going to get her some, I I'm looking at this too, because I know like I need to get her some more leggings uh, in different colors. We did also have two pairs of shoes I was going to show you today. One's a white pair of sneakers and black boots, but they're too small. They were European sizes. Hopefully the next uh, haul that I show you with like Hunter's and Ella's remaining stuff, I'll have those shoes as well. We have three more sets of clothing. So this one again is kind of like something that she can wear now. I love these pants so much. 
so much. I'm so jealous. <laughs> and then it comes with, I, I might go on and like see what she ordered and then see if it comes in my size that we can do like matching days. But this top, like it literally looks like something that I would wear. That's crazy. And she got this little black dress too, uh, but it has the cutouts at the shoulder, like a peekaboo shoulder, but it is just plain, no design or anything. It is ribbed, so very pretty. And then um, I, she was also debating on wearing this one tomorrow too, um, which is just a, it's like a jumpsuit. It's hard to show it all on camera, but it's a jumpsuit comes up to almost like a halter I think it zips in the back and then it comes with a detachable like sweater or vest to go over the jumpsuit I thought that was really cute this girl's got such a cute style and then I think argue arguably her favorite piece um, we went and got her just like a temporary backpack because we ordered her a backpack and I was so afraid that it wasn't going to come in on time. So we went to the store, just like grabbed a backpack that she liked, knowing that we would end up returning it once this one came in. Um, so this is her backpack for the year. <laughs> She's already gone ahead and decorated it because it was pretty cute. We had a look at sizing. If you order backpacks from Shein or bags, be really careful and look at the sizes because I've ordered pocketbooks before that I thought would be like, you know, like a normal size pocketbook and it meant it's like this big. So <laughs> always look at the sizes. I think we made sure that it was at least over 12 inches tall because 12 inches is just a foot, you know, you're going to need a little bit more than that. I think this was about 16 inches, um, but it did come with these little like key uh, pins, Pin oh, yeah, pins. So she went crazy, kind of decorated everything. It came with um, this plushie as well. So she's gone ahead and already clipped that. She was very excited. This little bunny pin too. And I also came with like a little sheet of stickers down here. It's cute. So she has two front pockets, one buckles, one is Velcro. I did have to go through and like attach all the straps, which I thought was a little bizarre, but I've never seen that. Um, and she has a zipper pocket in the front here. A lot of space. Another like medium sized pocket and then her big pocket so it pretty much has all the same pockets like the backpack we we're just using i'm gonna go let her transfer all her stuff into here we just had some ice cream cake to celebrate her birthday oh one of the outfits came with another headband as well but that's it for now i just wanted to show you guys this stuff again so we could get it away because i know once it's in its closet it's gone <laughs> like like it is gone gone i think i'm gonna try to record a voiceover tonight because i have just not been getting ready this week i've been working so much so 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 much so i've had uh, a couple auditions i talked about last time which one is on camera one is a voiceover we'll do the voiceover and then i got i got two more auditions sent my way but they were like if you're interested say yes and then we'll submit your photos and if the client is interested in you auditioning then they'll make you audition kind of thing so technically i've sent over two out of four auditions but i didn't have to do anything for them i do want to record a new commercial or a monologue within the next month or so possibly uh memorize soon but tonight i at least want to get the voiceover done